model magic that you were talking about. So yeah. what's the difference? Is this like Play-Doh? This is model magic, and that's Model magic is modeling material. No, what's no messy crumbling. This is air dry clay. Okay, so this you can continue to use. Yeah. So it doesn't actually get hard ever. It doesn't turn into anything. I think this is what we want. Just one, I think. Just more. I think so. What a random haul. I have sports bras, a workout top, an air purifier. Model A. Every time I see yarn lately, it makes me want to get a kitten. You should knit. Should I get a kitten? Oh, a kitten. Sorry, yeah. I thought you said I should get a kit. No. It makes me want a cat. I don't think I can. I would really want a rag doll. Oh, I, by the way, but the paint Meeting up some leftovers right now. I haven't actually talked to you guys on this vlog yet, so welcome back to my channel. I'm Erin. Right now I'm just heating up some leftovers. I just got back from the gym. It's Friday. I'm feeling good. I feel like before I went to the gym, I was feeling kind of down. Like I was feeling almost sad. I was feeling kind of sad and I didn't really have a specific reason why. The book I've been reading recently, it's called Letting Go by David Hawkins. That's his name, right? Yeah, I almost said Stephen Hawkins. Wrong guy. I definitely recommend that book because it's so good. It talks about just letting go, basically, of control, of expectations. In the book, they were talking about how our body uses situations and circumstances in our life to bring up emotions that are residing within us. So let's say, for example, I find myself getting really, really, really angry. It's not like this thing has made me angry. There was anger here, and this trigger was the thing that was able to bring it out. Or let's say I find so much gratitude and like love and joy for this thing that happened. It's not that that situation created that love and joy. That love and joy was always within me. So I was kind of just thinking about that in relation to how I was feeling today. And I was like, okay, I'm feeling sad. I don't need to figure out like what the situation is because there honestly sometimes just isn't any. Sometimes it's just a body's way of feeling and there isn't really any real reason. And you just kind of create anxiety in trying to search for the reason. So I was like, okay, there's sadness in me. Let me just let it be there and like let it run out. And then I went to the gym and I worked out. I actually worked out to affirmations, which I've never done before. Like I'm fully lifting weights to Lavender's positive affirmations, which sounds so weird to me because I feel like I usually need like a pump up, but because I was already so low energy, oh my God, do I have pit stains? No, okay. Because I was already so low energy, it didn't feel that odd. It felt like, okay, I'm lifting weights, but like it's in this mood. Like, I'm not going to channel, like, this ugh, ugh, energy. I just was, like, lifting from my very, almost, like, feminine, soft state. And I got a good workout in, and I felt really happy that I went. And then I just kind of left, and I was like, oh, I'm kind of good now. Like, I feel, I still feel a little bit more low energy than I feel like I have the past week or so. But right now, I'm going to eat some lunch. I'm going to get back to work. And then I'll talk to you guys later. I know I have two clients tonight. 
And tomorrow we are going to my healer lady. I always call her that. I've gone to this woman. She's just like an energy reader. And she is just the most like pure soul I think ever. Like I am very skeptical and I can be kind of like suspicious of people. Like I'm very quick to be like, hmm. But with her, like her energy feels so safe and her energy feels so pure. I saw her once in, I think it was November, no, October of 2022. And then I went back in January of 2023. And then I haven't seen or spoken to her all of this year. And I kept having like inklings, like, oh, you should go, like, you should go, you should go. And I kept kind of just ignoring it, honestly, because of money. Like I just wasn't really wanting to spend that much money on a session. And then for some reason I was just like, oh yeah, you should go. Like even just manifestation wise, I feel like it's, good to spend money on things that are like self-care or things that make you feel good and like to keep the flow of money going and you'll attract more money and it's like I shouldn't be not doing things because of money you know what I mean like I have enough so why am I acting like that and then after I do that I'm gonna go see Kiana so I may not tell you what we're planning to do but we're gonna have a special day and I'll maybe vlog that I don't know how I'll feel about that but we'll see. So now I've explained to you what to expect this entire vlog and so you basically don't have to watch it. Just kidding, please watch it. I'm at Kiana's guys and she just opened up her gift and now we're doing a little journal session. <laughs> Hello everyone, how you doing? Look how lovely her place is. One of the things I gave her was the Neo Tarot deck that I use. It's on Amazon and I definitely recommend this. You tell them that I'm always calling to- No, no, I didn't give a backstory okay, of all this. Yeah. I literally will call Erin and be like, hey, can I get a poll? Literally. <laughs> so I'm like, do it yourself. Hey, can I get a hit? <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna do a little pull right now. Chill, vibe. Journal. It's a full moon, so we may go walk to see the moon. I'll keep you guys posted. Also tell them about the gender reveal. <laughs> oh yeah, and over there, there's a gender reveal happening, so we're literally gonna watch and see whichever it is. Me and Kiana both think boy, and we said it at the exact same time, so we're rooting for boy. I'm scared that's gonna fall. That's not <laughs> shit on that. Nah. <laughs> the fuck? Are you recording? Yeah. Guys, this girl was about to put her phone on this. You see what this no, is? No, or even worse, I was gonna put it here. I bro, was gonna brace this it up here. This drops to the seventh floor. <laughs> Your phone would fucking break, bro. <laughs> looks like for me and any advice and tips that I would have. So first I'm going to give a little backstory. I grew up always having a lot of female friendships or at least like one or two at a time and I did value them a lot but not to the level that I do now and I think when I was in high school and in middle school I put a lot of emphasis on my relationships with men and if I had a boyfriend it was kind of like my relationships with my friends didn't hold as much weight in my mind at the time. Whereas I feel like now, even if I am in a relationship or dating somebody, I still value my female friendships so much because they are your life partners. Like they are gonna be there through 
all of the different partners, through all of the different jobs, through like all of the different things. And if you have a good friend, that is like so much, like that can do so much for you. You have like an, a person that doesn't need anything from you. They're not with you because you are providing them, you know, like a family or because you're providing them sex or because you're providing them like your attention 24 seven or whatever it is. Like they are literally just there because they find something special within you and they like you. And there's something so special about that. So I feel like over the past few years, my female friendships have really become so important to me. I think they truly are like chosen family and they reflect back to me the things that I need to see within myself that maybe I'm blind to. They point out patterns that I just maybe am blind to. They also recognize my positive qualities that I'm blind to and they affirm me in the ways that I like and we're so open with each other and I just, I don't know, I feel so blessed to have such amazing friends in my life. But tip wise, I do have a few little tips on how you can actually meet new people in your 20s because it is hard. I feel like if you become best friends with someone in college or in high school, that's when it's the most likely that it's gonna like stick and it's just easier because you're just there because of convenience. And then in your adulthood, it's like you can have work friendships, but you also don't want to get too close with your work friends because they're at work with you. And then also it's like, where else are you going to meet people though? So I do have a few ways that I have met some new friends and that way is YouTube. I have met so many people through doing YouTube and just like becoming kind of, some people are just like more acquaintances and like mutuals, but then other friends, like for example, Kiana, who you see on my channel all the time, we are very, very, very close and we met through YouTube. We've only known each other a year and we met because we both do YouTube. We both watched each other's YouTube videos. We resonated with each other and we'd always like comment on each other's videos. And then one day she messaged me and she was like, we should hang out or something like that. It was funny that she messaged me that because literally the day before that, I had thought to myself like, I should message her and reach out, but I was too scared to. And after her doing that, it was just like a big sign to me like, okay, I need to take steps towards doing things when I have that inspiration like when I get that thought of like call that person or text that person or go here or do that like follow those little intuitive nudges because your soul knows why it's telling you to do that so yeah anyways that's how we met we went out for like lunch or dinner or something and then we just would continue making plans to hang out with each other we showed up just like super open and vulnerable and I don't know we just developed a really good friendship we started facetiming and hanging out more and we are just like besties now like it's great so my tip would be to message people if you think like you would vibe with them like let's for say for example you follow someone on instagram and you've never really met them in person or whatever maybe you have and you just think for some reason that like you guys would vibe just message them because chances are they are also interested in hanging out with you and they have felt the same exact way if neither of you take action on it then nothing's gonna come of it like nothing's gonna happen from that like literally the absolute worst thing that could happen is they don't answer and like yeah i understand that it could feel like a rejection but at the same time like so what like nobody knows it's not like you publicly posted on your story like hey do you want to be my friend and they didn't answer and even if you did and if that happened like who cares like literally who cares like it doesn't it doesn't reflect you like someone not wanting to talk to you or not wanting to be your friend does not reflect anything to do with how cool you are or your worthiness or how lovable you are. It just reflects the fact that they don't feel aligned to be your friend in that moment. And that's okay. And that's on them. Like that is their thing. It's their reason. It has nothing to do with you. And so you just remind yourself that and keep it pushing. But it's better to try than to not try at all. So I would say reach out to people that you maybe think you would get along with and that you think you know you want to hang out with i also would say say yes to experiences and opportunities that come up i have become such a yes man like literally anytime an event or someone invites me somewhere whether it's like family or friends if i am free that day i don't have plans with myself or with other people i am saying yes because i take it as a sign from the universe that i should be there and so i will like maybe you never know how life unfolds and like the series of events that cause different things like you could say yes to this event go there meet somebody new and literally like move to japan with them for a year in a few years 
like do you know what i mean like life can take you so many different ways and there's just like pure potential opportunities in the world so don't be so quick to say no like if you are available and able-bodied you should take advantage of that and say yes to more opportunities and go and do things while you can so yeah we won't be here forever take advantage of those opportunities another thing would be to value and put in the time and effort into your family relationships if you have cousins or sisters or brothers or whatever put time into those relationships as well because those two are some of your best friendships and yeah there's something just so special about the people that you have been placed into this life with and then also something so special about the people that you choose to be involved in your life with was that english i don't know but you know what i mean it's hard to accept the fact that your childhood friendship from grade two is no longer feeling as good as it used to and you feel frustrated or misunderstood or like you just don't feel your full self with them or that they don't get you or whatever it is or they're making you feel bad it's hard to come to terms with that and have to like really look at that and it's a really admirable thing to be able to decide that someone isn't good for your life in that moment and to decide to not include them in it anymore i think we put so much praise on people for sticking things out and while it is admirable it is also admirable to say you know what this isn't serving me and i'm gonna leave because that's almost at the same time harder to do and you are literally telling the universe by doing that like i am ready to up level like i am ready for new people i'm ready for new experiences i'm ready to be this new person and you will not just be left empty-handed with that you will be you know poured into and something else will come in its place or that relationship will come back at a time when it's better and when you know maybe they've also raised up with you like people that are there for a lifetime and then people that are there for only a certain season in your life and that is okay you are here for let's say a hundred years you can't expect that every single person you come in contact with or every single person that means something to you is going to be there for the entire time your parents your grandparents your dog your best friend, your husband, everybody is gonna have their certain amount of time in your life and that's hard to accept but the beautiful thing in that is that you will always be there. Through all of these changing people, you will always be there. For that amount of time that you are born until the time you die, you will always be there and so that's why it's so important to make sure that you are somebody you like, you are someone you like spending time with. If you're close with God, that is another person or another Thing, energy feeling place that will always be there for that entire time and so find comfort in that and don't feel the need to cling so deeply to the relationships that you've created it's okay if maybe they aren't as strong and it's also okay if you don't want to fully cut people off like I know there's a lot of things of being like cut off people that aren't serving you and while that can be helpful for people that are really bringing you down sometimes it's not that they're really like harmful to you it's just that you don't want to spend as much time with them or as much energy in them and that's okay to just kind of let it fall back a little bit let it fizzle out and let it be 